What I like about the women in government in its third year is the great energy that fills the room. An energy generated from a collective determination to make a difference. This forum is a space that brings champions together, women and men, who are driving change, driving change by advancing women's inclusion and enablement in government. Women's participation in government strengthen equitable governance, peaceful societies, economic growth, and public trust. It's quite simple. When women lead, the whole community benefits. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to take a look around this room. We have a phenomenal group of people who prove over and over again that women are not just ready to lead, but are building, redefining, and shaping the future agenda. It is here where we come together to share our stories and experiences, to gain insight, and to find an inspiration, and to strengthen our network of support, because we still have more work to do. So let us discuss how can we catalyze our efforts to inspire women in government? How can we amplify our voices? And how can we scale our impact? My dear friends, I'm sure that you all agree that we stand on the shoulders of giants. Those women who made it possible for me to stand here today among all of you in one of the world's most important gatherings, the World Government Summit. Since the 1940s, the world first ever head of parliament of the Tuvan Republic, who focused on the betterment of education and women in her country. To 1980, when the first woman in the world was elected president in Iceland, to 2005, when Africa's Iron Lady made history as the first elected woman president and who went to win a Nobel Peace Prize for her work on behalf of women. And if I were to bring it here to the United Arab Emirates, to Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak, the mother of our nations, one of the strongest supporters of women in the UAE and beyond. And Her Highness Sheikha Manal bint Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, whose continuous support and encouragement has placed Emirati women at the heart of nation building. Today, Emirati women are not only reaching their ambitions, but surpassing them both in the UAE and globally. A great example is Razan Al Mubarak, who's with us here today, elected president of the International Union for Conservation of Nature, only the second woman to lead the organization in its 75-year history. And we will be hearing from Azan later. And we have with us Her Excellency Jessica Alupu, Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, only the second female to ever hold this position. Welcome. We will also be hearing from two heads of government with remarkable stories. His Excellency Edi Rama, Prime Minister of Albania, who is breaking records as we speak. His government has topped global rankings with a 70% women cabinet. And Her Excellency Najla Budin Ramadan, who we are honored to be 
here with us today and who is making headlines herself as the first female head of government of the Republic of Tunisia and the very first in the Arab world, certainly a role model for all of you. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Her Excellency Najla Boudin Ramadan to deliver the keynote address of the Women in Government Forum 2023.